What's going on people? This is Shoke and this is going to be a very opinionated video. So if you can't take people's opinions, if people's opinions easily offend you, don't watch this video. Okay, because I'm going to go on a bit of a tangent. I'm going to go in on this video. The shooter genre is pretty much dead to me. It is so dead. It is so stale. It is stagnant as hell. And I'm going to be explaining why in this video. Now, at the beginning of this generation, the shooter, the FPS genre, the shooter genre was my freaking favorite. Okay, we're starting off with Resistance 1, you know, on the PS3. I was playing Call of Duty 2, you know, on the Xbox Online. You know, then Halo, Halo 3 came out. And on um, 2007, I was like, man, like the FPS genre, that's like this, the best genre to happen to gaming. You know, Call of Duty 4, which to me still remains the best Call of Duty game and the best shooter this gen. Modern Warfare 1, well at least when you're talking about uh, competitive shooters, online multiplayer shooters. But anyways, that's another video. But as the years go by, you just see all developers throw all uniqueness and originality out the window. The majority of shooters you see nowadays are copy and paste of not even their own games. You see what I'm saying? Not even the games in their own respective series. You have devs just recycling the same ideas from each other. You see what I'm saying? Now, the Battlefield 4 17 minute gameplay, uh, the debut trailer or whatever, you know, that was shown and everybody was going like balls to the walls But Now again, I'm not trying to talk down anybody's preference or anything, what you guys like. If you guys are excited for Battlefield 4, cool. You know, I'm not saying you shouldn't be. But for me, that gameplay was very underwhelming. It was. Because while the game looked pretty, you know, it looked good, although not as good as I would think it would, but it still looked good. I was looking at the gameplay and I was like, what is it about this game, you know, that I haven't played before? You see what I'm saying? And for those of you who have watched that, watched that 17 minute gameplay, ask yourselves that question. What did they show in that 17 minutes of gameplay? What did they show in there that you haven't experienced before? Exactly. The same regurgitated bullshit. Now, I'm not trying to hate on Battlefield. I like the Battlefield series. Uh, particularly, I love the, the Bad Company games. I love Bad Company. Well, uh, Bad Company 1 is one of my favorite shooters of, of this gen or whatnot. I uh, didn't play Battlefield 3 like at all, though. Um, played a couple times like, over a friend's house. And I did download it on Origin, but I haven't, I haven't really haven't touched it at all. See what I'm saying? But I do recognize Battlefield as, you know, a quality... A quality series, you know, I'm one of those people, I'm in the Battlefield camp when it comes to Battlefield versus Call of Duty. I think Battlefield takes a huge jump on Call of Duty. But, like I'm saying, like I just said, you know, where is the next-gen gameplay? Like, Icy Rhythms, he made a video on this, he was like, okay, well, I got my next-gen graphics, but where's my next-gen gameplay? Where's my next-gen gameplay experience? And I wholeheartedly agree with him. But here's the thing, right, it goes beyond even the gameplay. When it comes to dialogue, it's the same regurgitated bullshit. When it comes to the story, it's the same regurgitated bullshit, okay? Oh my god, he's a tyrant, he has nukes, he's threatening us, he's taking over the East! We gotta send in our elite squad of four soldiers to single-handedly take on a whole army by themselves. The same regurgitated, regurgitated bullshit, right? And it goes beyond that. Even mission structure, right? Every FPS, what, what, what do they have? They have a, um, they have a, a railgun segment, right? Where you're on the back of a jeep or you're on a turret or something. And you have to hold off, you know, defending a base or whatever, right? Okay, they have, they have a sniper mission. Uh, Johnson, get up to that hill, grab that sniper rifle and cover us while we try to infiltrate the base. Okay, then we have, uh, what else? We have, we have the stealth level, you know? The same ideas are being recycled over and over and over again and like I said not trying to get on people's preferences but I don't understand how people can continue to eat this stuff up I don't get it and that's the problem the gamers are the problem that's why nobody is trying to push the appears genre because according to the sales everybody's okay with playing the same thing over and over again you see what I'm saying I, 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 I don't understand I don't understand. Again, my opinion, again, like I said, I warned you guys, this is probably going to be in an offensive video because I was going to go in, but I warned y'all. Now, Ubisoft, Far Cry 3, thank 
you. Thank you for that. Thank you for that unique FPS experience. 2K. Next level. Wait, no, next level? No. 2, 2K, whatever. Thank you for Bioshock Infinite. Thank you. Thank you for a unique game. Although that game was a little diluted because in that game you really don't have to use your vigors like you have to use your plasmids in the first two games. It's kind of a little bit more mainstream, but it still keeps its, you know, Bioshockness. You see what I'm saying? But yeah, that's that's a whole nother video or whatever. I might do another I plan to do a video on Bioshock Infinite, but I never got around to it. But you guys see what I'm saying? Those are the kinds of FPSs we need. Far Cry 3 and Bioshock. I'm tired of this military bullshit, okay? And then the sergeant's always a black guy with the same voice. They get the same black voice actor do his voice. The sergeant always ends up dying. Sergeant, no! Ugh, Johnson, avenge me! No! Just take on the whole army by your fucking self. Okay, then a, a member in your squad dies, whatever. Last level, explosion. Everybody get out the building. Oh, Jeep sequence. The ground is splitting. The nukes are going off. We gotta get out of here, Johnson. I'm tired of it. Fuck it. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. And then every other word is a curse word. Grenade, fuck, RPG, fuck, helicopter, fuck, shit, damn, my leg, ah, fuck, we need a medic, fuck. And you guys are okay with doing this over and over and over and over again? Ask yourselves that, people. Where is my gameplay? Where is it? Okay, I could take the same story. I could even bear the same mission structure. I could keep on doing the same generic sniper mission setups and the stealth mission setups, okay, where you have to go behind somebody and hold the press and hold the A button to assassinate them from behind, which <sighs> FYI devs, that's not cool anymore, okay? This assassination from the back shit, it's not cool. I mean, it looks cool, but it's really not fun, okay? That is a old, overused mechanic, okay? It's not the shit anymore. It's not. Okay, we've been doing that shit with Splinter Cell, like Halo, like every freaking, every shooter is doing that nowadays. I mean, even Bioshock Infinite did that, right? You could go up in Bioshock Infinite and like, you know, press and hold down the melee button to do like a finisher move. So like I said, you know, even, even with these uh, few unique shooters that we have, even those series have been diluted by this, you know, FPS genericness. And that goes theme-wise, you know, and gameplay-wise, you know what I'm saying? I'm tired of it. Hopefully, next-gen and the next-generation consoles, hopefully new hardware is going to somehow, you know, encourage devs to be more creative with their shooters, you know, to get their creative juices flowing again. But as of right now, outside of, like, Far Cry 3 and Bioshock Infinite, like, there really just hasn't been that, much, that many unique FPSs to come out. Like, it has... It's a dry, stale, stagnant genre, and it needs to be revamped. That's with this video. Just my opinion. I warned you. I warned you. Let me know what you guys think down below, and I'll see you fools later. Peace.